Norman J. Warren returned in the realm of science fiction with this space adventure horror thriller in Seminoid made in year 1981. And this is a very notorious film and I had seen this previously. This is produced by Shaw Brothers or Sir Run Run Shaw of the Shaw Brothers. So <laughs> it has Chinese funding in it. And yeah, it was shot in a Chiselhurst Caves in the year 1980. It was supposed to be in a spacecraft, but they decided that it is cheaper to uh, set up a space station in the caves than it is to build, build them. It's an interesting solution and yeah, it kind of makes this um, stand out from the alien clones of that time. Or is this even an alien clone? No, it is probably not, because the film was long in the production when everybody ever had heard of Alien. It came out of 1981, but uh, Alien, I don't think it was, it came out in UK until 1980. So production plans and screenplays were already long made when they probably saw Alien. I don't know. At least Norman J. Warren did say that uh, no, they didn't see Alien. And it's not, uh, there's not too much similarities to Alien. This is a story about uh, a group of space archaeologists who are in the, on this strange uh, otherworldly planet and they are investigating the caves and trying to solve that what made the uh, planet's previous population to go extinct. And this one guy finds these kind of strange crystals and of course he goes fondling the crystals and after a while he gets very sick and turns into a fucking maniac and he runs to the corridors and tries to open the uh, pressure doors to kill everybody and this one lady played by Stephanie Beecham who was also in Dynasty shoots the guy dead. <laughs> And then they figure out that these crystals must be something that something is eating in the caves. So they go look for it and of course they do find it. And this one very unlucky girl gets inseminated by the, by the alien. Now this scene and these posters are why this film has so bad reputation. And it's not really all that bad, but this poster here and other posters like that and this cover here suggests that f this film is filled with some inseminoids raping young women and they giving young women giving birth to these kind of uh, disgusting mutants and it it appears that this is very misogynist film in that way but really it isn't, isn't all about that because it's one girl gets inseminated and that also happens in this kind of weird dream sequence nothing like like let's say like uh, in galaxy of terror you remember the scene where this giant worm rapes this one female scientist nothing like that um, compared to that this is done very tastefully and all this film really is that this pregnant lady, <laughs> pregnant for this inseminoid creature, runs around in corridors and somehow she gets these supernatural forces and he, she is killing people from left and right. I have to say that this may be the least favorite film of this box because this thing... Like it's not a direct alien ripoff, but there's so many films better than this that are similar compared to the, let's say, William Malone's Creature from year 1985, if I remember correctly. This is far better film uh, as an alien clone than in Semino. Sure, there is some... There's a, there are some gruesome scenes, there are some uh, nasty scenes, and <laughs> makeup effects are pretty good. But we don't get to see the actual inseminoid, <laughs> not, not too much. It, it only appears in this dream sequence, and then we get to see this little inseminoid that this lady gives birth to. So, um, the pregnant lady is the monster of this film. So that is kind of dis disappointing to me. This film was made two million pound budget and the settings, the set pieces that they set up in the Chiselhurst caves are, look pretty convincing. Yes, 
everybody in the documentary said that it was not too pleasant to work in the caves and I can only man imagine if you go below the ground and it's dark, it's damp, it's moist, it stinks and it's cold and just miserable to go every day for 12 hours to shoot a movie in a cave so I salute everybody who made this film. I would give Inseminoid only two stars. Its reputation far exceeds the actual merits that this film has. But definitely this gotta be the best alien clone that has ever been shot in the Chiselhurst caves. That's for dang sure. So like the others, this is also an awesome Blu-ray. It comes with feature-length commentary with the director and assistant director uh, Gary White and they are remembering what they did in the Chiselhurst games and <laughs> how fun was that. And that's interesting commentary to listen to. And then there's a couple of very long interviews, one for B.A. HP interview with the director and also the archival interview when, where director Norman J. Warren is in the Manchester Fe Festival of Fantastic Films and that is 62 minutes and the, and the interview was 67 minutes. And also there's the archival documentary which was also on the Anchor Bay DVD which was released in 2004, Subterranean Universe which describes the making of the uh, in Seminoid and also includes the interviews from cast and crew and pretty much all of the cast and crew is interviewed th there and uh, they, are, they are saying the same that it was quite an experience to be uh, 12 hours a day in this damp and cold and dark caves and also there was this funny thing that when they built the sets they built them from wood and when they, it was moist down there the moisture just expanded the wood so the sets would move by themselves at night so they were probably wondering oh, if there is there ghosts or something but yeah it's it's kind of a small miracle that they managed to pull this thing off also there's a new interview with the actor trevor thomas who played mitch in the role um, and that was made 2019 and he describes the making of of inseminoid and also archival documentary interview from the music maker uh, who made the electrical score for this film and that is also pretty oddball score. <laughs> Actually every Norman J. Warren film has kind of this weird score. He probably had something to do with this. Put some weird music for me man. And your usual trailers and still images and stuff is also on this disc. And by the way all these discs come with uh, English hard of hearing subtitles. So Inseminoid is not my favorite cup of tea of Norman J. Warren's filmography but in the realm of British science fiction and horror film it's a significant achievement. You know two million pound a science fiction alien clone that w was made in the <laughs> caves and it is definitely the best British alien film that is made in the Chiselhurst cave to say the least yes but in the next episode I will talk you about the last film in this box bloody new year I don't know anything about this film but I soon will find out and the next time I will tell you everything I know. So catch you the next time and remember to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the exciting conclusion of Norman J. Warren bloody terror film monkey fucking marathon baby yeah yeah see you bye